Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in the game Atlas. Uh, first of all, the game is not well optimized right now. It's pretty much crazy. Uh, even when the, all the parameter that you will change and I will show you, sometimes it doesn't even affect your FPS and it should. So for sure the dev will um, launch a lot of different patches for the next month and you will see a lot of improvement. I, I will probably do a second video. So first of all, this is an early access game. The first thing that you need to do is right click on the game, go to properties, set launch option and make sure that you put I and use Olivable Core because you don't want, you know, the game doing like weird stuff and it's not using uh, all your uh, resources. So just make sure that using this command when you're launching the game. After that, we will go in the setting of the game before going in the uh, config file. So let's go to option. So this is pretty much all the parameter uh, that uh, the game um, offer you inside of the game. Um, first of all, I'm playing 1080p, but for sure if you have like a laptop, integrate video card and stuff like that, don't play 1080p, go lower to that, uh, play something like, I don't know, a 720p or even lower. Um, also make sure that you're playing full screen, really important, I saw a lot of the drop FPS when I was playing window or borderless, so uh, really important, play full screen. Resolution scale here, for sure you can lower it, but again, just do your test. This one will decrease your image qu quality like crazy. So my recommendation here is change other parameter inside of the game right now and uh, do your testing. This is more like a last resort thing. So yeah, that's about it. World type buffer, I'm playing at medium. You will get like maybe 2% for each uh, bracket. So that's a pretty huge uh, chunk, but it's not the most important setting right now. View distance, make sure that you're playing medium or low. If you have a low-end computer, go with low. You don't want to render it like crazy in front of you. You will lose a lot of FPS. Anti-aliasing, I'm playing at medium. Don't go high and epic. I saw a big decrease when you use high and epic. I feel like medium is the perfect uh, um, parameter right now because you don't see a big difference with low and you're getting a, a nice uh, anti-aliasing uh, uh, in this game because low, I, see, I feel like all the objects are kind of breaking, so it's not that great. So play at medium. Post processing, same thing. I'm playing at medium. Big chunk here to get FPS. General shadows, terrain shadow, ambient lighting. Put those three at low, and you will gain a nice chunk, like something like nine to eleven percent of the total of your FPS. So a big increase over here. Really important. Texture I'm playing at epic doesn't change anything. It depends on your VRAM. For sure, if you have like two gig and less, play at medium or even low. Uh, so it depends on the, the number of VRAM that you have on your video card. Right now, sky, uh, sky, sky quality, ground clutter density, ground clutter distance, and even the mesh. I'm putting everything at minimum. Uh, I really don't care right now. It's, it, it feels like ARC when uh, they launch the game. Sky quality, you're, you're getting like 10 to 12 FPS just putting this one at low. So when you do that, you will gain a nice chunk of FPS, like 15 max, but still you will gain a lot of FPS over here. Uh, for those uh, things that normally are checked by default, uncheck everything, even those two ones, you need to restart uh, to make sure that they are applied. And uh, color grading, I didn't see an, an improvement over here. Low quality level streaming, the same thing. Uh, they didn't change anything for me, so I just stay like this. Make sure that you save. After that, we will go in the config file. In the config file, you need to go where you install the games. So Steam libraries, Steam apps, common, Atlas, shooter games, save, config, Windows, no editor, and open the game user setting. Here you will see a lot of different config that you can change uh, straight up in the, um, in the file if you want. But also you will see if you scroll down uh, more, qual more setting that you didn't see in the game like wave work quality. I put this one at zero and if you see random effect quality still at three or true, true sky quality still at three make sure that you put zero here zero mean low in this game so uh, really important do that and uh, change your par graphic parameter over here after that make sure that you save right now i can because it's a read only option and lock the file so right click here properties read only that's why i didn't save uh, in this video because i was in read only so you want to make sure that the game doesn't override your graphic parameter so really important uh, stay like this for the next maybe i don't know two or three weeks wait on different patches if you see that they release patches with like optimization you should uncheck this and make sure and just 
update and test your uh, game user setting maybe to improve your image quality and look at if you're getting better result with your fps now so that's about it guys i will probably do a second video in like three weeks if they uh, release uh, more patches for the optimization i'm not too sure if they will do it because you know it's christmas and not sure if everybody is working over there and um yeah, that's about it. And post me your rig if you have any questions. So CPU, RAM, and GPU. I'll try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace, everyone.